Okay, uh, good evening, guys. I'm Alice. It's such a great honor to introduce Jiangsu University here. Uh, meanwhile, the admission director, Mr. Wu, will be with us as well. He's responsible for the Q&A in the last. Okay. First, let me introduce uh, where is our university. Jiangsu University is located in Zhengjiang City, the Venice of the Golden Triangle in Yangtze River Basin, which has become one of the most active and eye-catching areas. It's economically prosperous, culturally developed, and knowledge intensive. It's adjacent to Shanghai Pudong Development Zone in the east and Nanjing Local Airport in the west. Okay, uh, Zhengjiang, a small but romantic city. It is also my lovely hometown. Uh, although we have to see each other behind the screen due to the pandemic, I really hope uh, you may spend some time explore, exploring the charm of my hometown in person in the future. All right, it's time to get to know JSU. Uh, Jiangsu University, is one of the oldest educational institutions in China, and its origin can be traced back to 1902, when it was first established as Sanjiang Normal School, approved, of, approved by Ministry of Education in 2001. JCU is a key comprehensive university established by the merger of three universities. It's also one of the first batch of universities with normal quality, with national quality certification for overseas study in China. Um, our university has a high starting point and its comprehensive strength has been ranked among the top 100 schools in China. As early as 1978, JSU was recognized as one of the 88 key universities in China. In recent years, our school has deeply implemented the development strategy of a high level, distinctive, and international, and its influence at home and abroad has been continuously improved. In this year's evaluation of Chinese university, the university ranks 38th in China. Next, I will briefly introduce our admission in 2020. The majority of our overseas students are degree students, and the level of degree students continues to improve significantly. The enrollment of master's and doctoral students has steadily expanded, with the number of graduates surpassing undergraduates for the first time in 2020. With the improvement of the admission control and the entrance threshold, the number of overseas students has gradually decreased, but the educational level has been optimized, and the number of doctor students has increased year after year. Last year, the source countries of students have spread to 114 countries on five continents, and Russia has entered the top 10 source countries for the first time. The enrollment of international students has been constantly optimized, and the enrollment of all the advantageous subjects in Jiangsu University has been realized. By 2020, engineering and management each account for over 30% of the total, while medicine and other disciplines account for around 11%, reflecting the advantages of comprehensive universities in a wide range of disciplines. Study at JSU would never be boring. We have two national key disciplines, agriculture electrification automation and fluid machinery and engineering. Equipped with different kinds of research facilities, in the recent five years, the total scientific research fund amounts to 4.1 billion RMB sponsored by governments and enterprises. Our university has one national engineering and technology research center, one national experiment teaching demonstration center, two national pilot zones for talent training pattern innovation, JSU Press and JSU Hospital 
are two major affiliations to the university. Many English taught programs are offered here. For example, MBBS is the first bachelor's degree program opened to overseas students at JSU, which began from the year 2005. Education of JSU is more towards interactive and innovative teaching, along with the emphasis on seminars and case discussions among students. Living in JSU is also colorful. This is our overseas students' dormitory and the canteens. Okay, the Overseas Education College in JSU holds the International Culture Day with over 1,200 overseas students from more than 80 countries. The importance of this special day is to bring various foreign cultures together on campus. This event offers all students a great opportunity to understand and learn from different cultures and also adapt themselves to internationalization of education. The Life Builder Conference is a motivational speaking platform that aims at, that aims at sensitizing students as per need for personal development. This conference is solely organized by our international students. Freshmen are warmly welcome to different student associations. Here I have to particularly mention the Olive. Yeah. Um, Olive is the official media of JSU Overseas, Overseas Education College, and it's published by our overseas students themselves. Also, sports meeting is another big event for our overseas students. And the OEC team often have a good grade in all kinds of competition. Apart from cultural activities, JSU also hold academic activities for our students. The last is about career development. JSU Aliens with numerous enterprise is a hub to provide internship and career development. JSU is one of the first universities in China to have its own aliens to train international talents. All right, for more information and including the scholarships, please visit our website and apply online. Or you can scan the QR code to follow our official account in WeChat. In the end, I would like to quote the speech of our President Yan to finish today's introduction. Thank you guys and welcome to Jiangsu Universities to make your own stories here. Thank you. Thank you, uh, teacher, for the presentation about Jiangsu University programs and admissions information. And yes, we still have some time uh, where yeah. that we can use for the Q&A, if you'd like yes, to answer some questions. Our admission director, Mr. Wu, is also here, and he will responsible for all kinds of Q&A. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, so uh, we do have some questions, especially about the programs, right? So uh, as most of the students know, usually Chinese universities offer degree programs only in September intake. And how about uh, Jiangsu University? Will there be any programs uh, in the spring 2022 intake, especially for the degree programs? Here yeah, we do have uh, two degree, two admission season for degree students, uh, especially for the English taught students. Uh, even before, we only have uh, one season alternate for MBBS program, but now due to the high demand, um, we open the spring intake for MBBS students. But we do have, we do not have a Chinese taught degree program for spring intake. Okay, so MBS uh, will be in spring intake as well, right? Yeah, you're right. Yes, yeah, so uh, can you introduce more about the entrance requirement for the MBBS program? Because I know that 
you know, there is a lot of students out there for uh, that are looking for the MBBS program, and it is such a popular programs. Okay, um, that depends because we normally require the national college entrance exam result mm -hmm. to apply. For example, most of the Indian students will require them to write NEET result, to write mm -hmm. NEET exam. For example, last year our minimum requirement for NEET is uh, uh, 220. Um, some of the students, for example, they're from Western Africa, for example, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, they will write the exam of BAIC. Uh, we need mm, yeah. the uh, language, math, physics, chemistry, biology, average um, C. And if you write A level or AS level, we also accept. You also need uh, average C in these subjects. I, I cannot elaborate all of them, but uh, uh, if it's a hundred percent, you get at least uh, seventy-five. And those from the um, what do I say, from non-English speaking country, we require uh, also O O TOEFL exam result. Um, at least uh, for ours, we at least need a six point or equivalent. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So uh, is there any application deadline already for the spring intake application? Well, we set the deadline to the end of November because um, we are preparing to give, a, uh, we're going to give a preparatory courses from mm -hmm. December for students before spring intake. Because for MBBS students, they're going to have, uh, they're going to graduate as the same time as the spring, the autumn intake of this year, mm -hmm. student from, because they're going to finish in 5.5 uh, years. Um, but that, I think most of the students want to graduate faster. Yeah. But in order to ensure the quality, we decided to open some preparatory courses before the spring intake. So we want to finally finalize the admission by the end of this November. So we'll begin to have uh, some courses from December. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, there is also this question from the student uh, about the recommendation letters. So is there like a specific uh, requirement for the recommendation letters for the master's program? Can it come from uh, her lecturers from the university? Well, normally we need uh, these recommend recommendation letters from associate professor or above. But if, if, for example, the school in some schools or some countries, they have very limited associate professors. And then if in that case, we can consider, but uh, we need to see which country and which school so that we can, we can, we can view this case like according to the, the student situation, the school situation. All right. And also last question, uh, it's about the English language certificate. So uh, what's the requirement for uh, the English language certificate, especially for students who graduated from, let's say from US or UK or for those of them who well, if have you, studied English? If you, can, yeah, if you can prove that you previous education, was conducted in English, you do not need to provide the language proficiency certificate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's very clear now. And then the time is also up for the next uh, presentation to come. So thank you, Wu Laoshu. Thank you, Hua Laoshu, for the presentation. Thank you so much thank at you. Jiangsu University for being a part. See you next time. Okay, see you, back. See you next time.